What's going on, internet folks? So we are. Hey, long time no see. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the pilot truck stop off of Scenic Highway 11. Um, what is this? Cherokee National Highway? Scenic Cherokee Foothills Scenic Highway? I never can remember what the fuck they call it. Cherokee Scenic. I don't know. When I find the sign again, I'll stop. Um, but we are on our way to, uh, yeah, we're going to take Highway 11 up a little ways and probably then cut back and go towards uh, Asheville. They're having fires, though, in Lake Lure, and I, the camera's not picking, there it is. That isn't, yeah, that's not clouds, that's smoke. Um. See if the camera will focus in on it again. You can kind of see in the lower portion right here, it's like a wall coming this way. And what it is is that smoke from the fires. Um, it's so thick that it's been blowing in over the last uh, couple days. And normally, you can see the mountains. You can usually see it from my house. Look. If you kind of look above the cab of that truck, above that air conditioning unit, you can see one of the mountains. But see, that's just the outline of one, and there's two more silhouettes that are that you can normally see behind it. Okay, look, you can see right there. Yeah. It's not cloudy uh, over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's just all the smoke rolling in from the fires. So I don't know how far up we can go. Um, but we are in the little Corolla wagon. This is. Yeah, he had to stop to have smoke. So. We are just taking a break. What happened here? Don't know. History happened. So anyway, guys, I just figured we talked for a minute before we get back on the road. It ungassed up and everything. Wrote down my mileage. We set the trip odometer. Check the engine oil. We are ready to roll. We'll catch you in a few minutes. All right, so we are on the road again. Got the Christmas music playing. And once again, you can't really tell, but the mountains, the silhouette of them is right there, but the smoke is so thick. That red edge tree. Yeah, that one red tree. <laughs> but the, uh, the smoke is so thick. Like the sun even has like, it looks like there's a ring around it from the, the thickness of the smoke. You can't, like I said, the mountains are right here. In person, I can see them. On the camera, though, I don't think it's picking it up. That's how uh, that's how much smoke there is. So, but it's it's going through Chimney Rock and Lake Lure, and right now it's or a day and a half ago it was approaching 900 acres of fire that is uh, that it's torn through. Um, but guys, you can go to Google and, and type in uh, Lake Lure, North Carolina and fires or Chimney Rock, North Carolina and fires and it'll show you what we're dealing with. Like, I remember in high school, and not just high school, but school in general, seeing pictures of uh, volcanoes when they erupt in the ash clouds. And that's all I know to compare it to. Because that's literally what this is. It's, it's ash and, and smoke. Yeah. Like I said, I know the sun is kind of working against us. There you go. The camera's picking it up now. You can see a little bit of the mountain. That's not far. Yeah, but that's, you should be, normally, you can see this clear as day. trying to go around the fires to make it to I guess like a, the Cedar Mountain area we'll see how Gamecock flag but we'll see how it goes you can 
smell it inside the car. I keep spraying. I've got some hair freshener stuff I've been spraying in the car, but you can still kind of smell. It's getting kind of thick. The winds the other night brought it all the way down through the low country, and that was terrible. Like, I, I walked outside of work, and it was... I have asthma, so I stand outside long enough and stuff like that. It'll start to choke me. But we're going to go up. Lake Lure, I know they've closed off the roads and stuff, too. I don't know how far this way on Highway 11 they've closed the roads. Wow. Wow. Smell it. Like I said, you can kind of see the outline of the mountains up here. On the camera. Heritage Preserve. Alright, we will uh, film some more in a minute. Oh, Ford. Uh, 77. Alright, keep on. Well, guys, we are going to pull over this little walking path. Yeah, you, you, you gotta see this shit. Yes. Is this where you stopped that when you came got it? Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I don't give a damn. Come on. So I found this place when we came up here to, uh, pick up the Corolla wagon the first time. Figured you guys might want to see this. about that shit. Oh god, Jesse. That is smoke. You can see the fires now. I see it. And we're out of focus. And we're out of focus. It's only what? Sorry guys, there's someone on the lens. Pretty neat. Did you probably zoom in? I did. I can do it again. It's 
cold? Oh my god, it's cold. Alrighty guys, we might actually go back out that way towards Table Rock, see if we can't get closer to the uh, natural fires that are burning. The times when you realize that you should have bought a Subaru. Alright, what does this say? The Eva Russell Chandler Heritage Preserve. Use extreme caution. Slippery, dangerous. Foot traffic is invited, but special regulations apply to this property. Hunting is allowed in posted areas and it is included in a game song. Huh. So is it like a hiking area, Jesse? Do we get out and... Hike? I don't know how this works. Know. But this dirt road... You see where we are right there. This dirt road stretches from right there all the way over here and connects into 276. Sorry about my shattered screen. So we've got all through there to go. So let's uh I got it in first. I'm letting her just walk her way down because I don't want her to eat the brakes up. I just washed this thing like two days ago. Alright. Second gear. telling you guys I never realized how uh, or I should say the, the the torque difference between the 5 speed and the 7 AFE and the automatic and the 7 AFE is just astronomically different look a Buick Century if them motherfuckers in the Buick Century can come up through here then we're good because I have taken Buick Centuries to places where no Buick Centuries should have ever gone. Uh, no trespassing on that. So now we, we we pull it over and I'm gonna stop for a minute. I need to pee. Look at the big old rocks. On the dust on the car and I just washed it. God darn it. But look over here. Up in that I think that rock. You could totally be homeless and like live up underneath that some guy. I don't know if you can hear it, but that thing's still running. <laughs> Just how quiet it is. Alright guys. Well, Jesse's taking pictures of me taking video. <laughs> Alright, it's starting to get darker now. And it's actually so dark off in the distance, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but we're coming into the fire zone. RPMs on Highway 11. This is still Highway 11. The oncoming headlights keep messing with the cars. Color balance. If it would 
focus and realize how dark it was and you might be able to see something. It is just, I need a better camera. Oh my God. All right, let's see what happens when we press this hill down here. If we can see some more. There was a second when crested that one hill that I didn't think we'd be able to see anything and you could actually see the flames burning oh off in the distance. Oh my god. That was insane. These trees right here are blocking the uh, the view. Jesse, if you want to hold the wheel. Maybe. Oh my god. I don't think we're gonna catch it right here. Fire control. Yeah. Keep moving. Yep. Do not stop fire control. I'd like to go down that road though. Oh, um, Why is everybody stopping? I don't know. You can grab the wheel. You can probably see it. Well, then you take the camera. Yes. If you want me to crash the car, how do you zoom in? You can see it. Oh, the, you can see it barely. You can see smoke. 